Hi, welcome to America 2.0. Islamic Tribunal confirmed in Texas. Attorney claims it's it's uh, voluntary. So this is Sharia law in action, okay? In the United States in Texas, attorney claims it's voluntary, okay? We need to get this out there quick, okay? Do you understand that? Not because it's anti-Islamic, not because of this, not because of that, but because this is happening and it needs to be confirmed for happening, okay? All right, I'm only going to read about half of this. I'm going to skip every other major paragraph. An Islamic tribunal using Sharia law in Texas has been confirmed by Brightford, Texas. The tribunal is operating as a nonprofit organization in Dallas. One of the attorneys for the tribunal said participation and acceptance of the tribunal's decisions are voluntary. Brightford, Texas spoke with one of the judges, quote unquote, Dr. Uh, Tier L. Badawi. He said the tribunal operates under Sharia law as a form of non-binding dispute resolution. El Badawi said their organization is a tribunal, not arbitration. A tribunal is defined as a Merriam-Webster dictionary as a court or forum of justice. The four Islamic attorneys call themselves judges, not arbitrators. El Badawi said the tribunal follows Sharia law to resolve civil disputes and family business matters. He said they are, all, they are also resolve uh, workplace disputes. So none of the criminal cases yet, but I'm sure it's going to catch on quite soon. In matters of divorce, El Badawi said, while participation in the tribunal is voluntary, a, marriage, uh, a married couple cannot be considered divorced by Islamic communities unless... It is granted by the tribunal. He compared their divorce, known as uh, talaq, as something similar to the Catholic practice of annulment in the church does not recognize civil divorce proceedings as ending a marriage. I'll uh, skip the big one. Doesn't seem to be a major practice. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, El Badawi said they follow Texas family law when it comes to child support, visitation, custody. He said, in most cases, custody of children is awarded to the mother. Robert Texas has asked what happens when there is a conflict between Sharia law and Texas law. El Badawi said, most of the time the laws are in agreement. When pushed further, he admits that we follow Sharia. Uh, however, he explains that if the parties are not satisfied with the tribunal's decision, they do not have to accept it, and they can take matters to Texas civil courts. Uh, he did not say what the social ramification of rejecting the judge decision would be. Uh, goes on to state, it is with the with this issue that Muslims. Here in America, are obligated to find a way to solve conflicts and disputes according to the principle of Islamic law and its legal heritage of fairness and justice in a manner that is reasonable and cost effective. Uh, da, 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 da. El Badawi restated several times that, it, that participation in the tribunal is voluntary. However, he would not discuss what happens to someone who does not follow their rulings. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Sharia law in America in court. Here we go. Sharia tribunal law in America. Allowed in Texas. Oh, it's not going to happen. Yeah, okay. America 2.0 out. Uh, pass this around like crazy.